Hey guys, my name is James and welcome to my YouTube channel. Please like the video down below and subscribe. Now I've been living in Barcelona for the past three years now and today I would like to share with you a few places I'm going to get the best pictures of Barcelona. Now the first place to go to get the best views of Barcelona are of course the bunkers of Carmel. Now the bunkers may be a little difficult to get to, it can especially if you don't have your own means of transportation, but it's definitely worth the trip. When you finally get there, if you're on, when you're on top, you'll have a 360 degree view of the entire city of Barcelona. And if you decide to go into the bunkers, the city's established a mini museum for you to be able to see the history of Barcelona during the Spanish Civil War of the bunkers, of all the locals and the testimonies and what they went through during the war. It's also a good place for a picnic and just to relax and have a beer. Now it's also free, so you don't have to pay anything to go to the bunkers. And they're very close to Park Way. It's only about a 15 minute ride between the two places. Now the second place I'm going is of course Park Way. Now Park Way is one of the most popular places to visit in Barcelona. It's also the most photographed place in Barcelona. Now to get into the park you do have to pay, but you only have to pay for a very small portion of the park. Because the part that you're paying for is only the portion of Gaudi's work, of all the painted houses, of all the colorful art. This is the part that you pay when you're entering Parkway. The rest of the park is free. And if you go up to the terrace behind the paid park, if you're facing the city of the famous picture of the houses and you're looking at the sea, to your right, if you go up to the small mountain or the small hill to your right, you'll eventually come to what's called the Calvary. And this was a small mount built by Gaudi with three crosses on it and if you you used to be able to decline the mount there's an actual podium or a, a structure there and you used to be able to climb up that and have a 360 degree view of the entire city of Barcelona and it was fantastic but as of now you can't go up that anymore I don't know if that's permanent or not but as of right now, you can't do it, I think, due to the potential hazard of falling off because it was, it was quite dangerous. You didn't have any railing or anything protecting you, and it used to be full of people. The third place to go to get the best view of Barcelona is, of course, Tibidabo. Now, you can see Tibidabo from any point in the city. It's very easy to spot Tibidabo, to spot the Basilica. And right next to the Basilica, you also have the amusement park. So it's quite unique having the amusement park, the basilica, and you also have an observatory there as well. Now, if you want to go to Tibidabo, I definitely recommend it if this is your first time to the city. Um, you have some fantastic views of the entire area, not just of Barcelona. And there is, and if you are into rides, there is one roller coaster that I would recommend because the very first drop of the roller coaster is a picturesque view of Barcelona. So it's definitely interesting, something to see, and definitely something that I would recommend doing. But as a word of warning, I would not recommend going on the 1st of May or on any bank holiday for that matter, because all the locals tend to go to Tibidabo when they don't have enough time off because it's not too far from the city. I did that last year and you can make that mistake and spend two to three hours waiting in line to go to one of the rides. Now the fourth place to go to get the best views of Barcelona is Manac. Now Manac is the National Art Gallery of Catalonia. They also happen to have one of the largest collections of Romanesque art in the world. So if you're into art or if you like art, I would definitely recommend going. It only costs about 12 euros to get in. And even if you don't want to go to the museum, they have, it's also a really good place to have some really good pictures of Barcelona. Now the last place to go to get the best views of Barcelona is the castle of Mandrik. Now Mandrik Castle is located just behind Manac and it costs only about five euros to get in. 
but once you go up to the roof, you will have a 360 degree view of the entire city of Barcelona. I definitely recommend going to Mount Drake. It's very cheap compared to the other places in the city to visit. And it's also a nice area to hang around or to maybe go for a picnic in the area. There's a park next to that area as well for picnicking and it's an overall nice area to go hiking and whatnot. Anyway, thank you for watching my video. I hope you found some of the information useful. Please like the video down below and subscribe and be sure to check out my blog. If you have any questions or comments, write down below and I will be happy to get back to you. Stay tuned for more videos and again, thank you for watching.